Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. Mama Daura, Buhari's powerful nephew, in critical condition in United Kingdom. Top government officials who spoke with one of our correspondents on Friday disclosed that the 80 years old had seen his health dip in recent days raising fears among family members and close associates, including President Buhari, who often relies on his counsel before making key decisions. Mama Daura, a nephew of President Muhammad Buhari, is currently in a critical condition in United Kingdom, Sahara reporters has gathered. Top government officials who spoke with one of our correspondents on Friday disclosed that a 80 year old has seen his health deep in recent days raising fears among family members and close associates, including President Buhari, who often relies on his counsel before making key decisions. Mama Daura, he is not in good shape in London. He is not been back, he is not been back since the time he has flown there. There is serious concern around his health, one source said. He recalled that in August, Sahara reporters revealed how Daura was flown to the United Kingdom for urgent medical treatment over an undisclosed ailment. He was said to have been flown in a private jet to the UK after exhibiting respiratory difficulties with symptoms similar, similar to coronavirus. He is said to have had a, a, a history of renal crisis and, a reg and had regularly visited the West for medical attention. Despite this revelation, the presidency claimed that a former journalist travelled to UK for leisures and not for medical reasons. In September this year, Daura was unable to attend the wedding of Hannah, President Buhari's daughter, due to his poor health, despite being scheduled to be the father of the day for that occasion. The absence of Dahura at the event remained a major talking point among major political play players, especially considering his close closeness to President Buhari. Wow. So guys, what is your own take about this? You know, all we know that every enemies of Nigeria, now so they go they die one after the other. I, I'm not praying that Mama Dahura should die. But definitely, if Mama Daura is one of the enemies of Nigeria, trust me, he, 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 trust me, he will go with it. I'm sorry to say that, but Nigerians have suffered enough. Nigerians have suffered enough. You know, there was a time that we heard that uh, Mama Daura felt sick, that he was flown to UK, and uh, President Buhari and Anko were saying that uh, he just went there for a leisure time to enjoy himself, not knowing that he has been keeping this health issue for so long he has been keeping this health issue for so long and you can imagine this it's just are they not ashamed of themselves we have hospitals in, in 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 our country we have medical hospitals we have capable doctors and nurses that can give them a better medication better treatment but here we are but because they are not ready to develop our hospitals they are even afraid to take a, a, a proper treatment in Nigeria. Any little thing like this, they will travel abroad. They will start looking for what is, no, what is not there. They will start looking for what they are not supposed to look for. Nigerians are saying, develop our hospitals so you will not be able to smuggle abroad. No, they don't want to develop. And one thing they don't know is that money cannot buy life. They are just risking their life to go to to travel abroad to take medication before they get there we don't know well what anything can happen on the road anything can happen on the hair and that's just the reality the fact is that no matter how much someone steals he cannot buy one extra day if their time is up nemesis is definitely catching up on all our leaders it is catching up on them. And we are saying that every enemies of peace in Nigeria, anyone that is seeking for power, for selfish and tribalistic interest, most definitely go with it. And anyone who out of his or her evil, intimidating 
motive sent innocent persons to death. We never fail to see death. Oh. And that is, that is how it, it will be. Nigerians have suffered enough. Nigerians have suffered enough. You know, let's hear what people are saying. You, people are saying that UK hospital is all right. Even Trump never traveled out of his country for medical treatments for COVID-19. And that is why Buhari does not want to fix our hospitals in Nigeria. God is watching. And which is true. When you look at this, when you think deeply, you can see that even recently that we heard that Donald Trump was positive with COVID-19. He never traveled out of, Uni out of, out of United States for a medical checkup. He went to a nearby state in United, in U.S., for a medical checkup, a whole president of America, how much more our own president, that they are not capable of taking care of their hospital. They are not even capable of treating their medical personnel very well. No respect for our doctors, no respect for our nurses. The only thing they can do is just to embezzle money. This is not a good thing at all. It is not a good thing. You know, people were saying that uh, the road to hell, how the money is stole from our paws, will be eaten by the UK government. Even how these monsters, animals, and human skin die today is none of our business. After all, every soul must taste that one day. By God's grace and mercy, it will, they said he will overcome the sickness. Nobody is, is, is causing them. We are not causing them. But all we are saying is that they should do the needful. All we are saying is that they should do the right thing. They should do the right thing. I'm telling you the truth. That is what all we are requesting for them to do. But as many of our leaders or people that are supporting killing of innocent people in this country that are causing hardship on Nigerians. Hmm. Nemesis will catch up on all of them all. Nemesis will definitely catch up on them. Because our youth have suffered. Our elderly ones have suffered. Our young ones have suffered. Nigerian citizens as a whole have suffered. And we cannot continue with this suffering. There must be a very strong revolution. It must happen. And it has started happening right now. And nothing can stop it. No Nigerian leaders can stop it. Ash revolution has started. And it will surely come to reality. All our wishes. The Nigerian leaders must do it by force. Whether they like it or not. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments in the comment section below. For those who subscribe. We want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you if you're yet to do so. Kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will definitely be the first person to always watch our latest news anytime, any day. Thank you for always being there for us at all time. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye.